-hmm. was some crazy individual who decided that he had a right based on his anger to go and uh, and take a man a father of three and a husband <laughs> just distraught tears tonight from patients colleagues everyone who knew a Brigham and women's doctor who was killed at the hospital and police say it was a Milbury man that shot dr. Michael Davidson yesterday he was in surgery for hours but his colleagues could not save him Katie Brace is live outside the hospital tonight and Katie he is being remembered as a very thoughtful and very caring doctor he certainly is, Jonathan, and many people are still reeling about what happened here yesterday. But tonight, those who knew Dr. Davidson say there are so many ways to remember him. Dr. Michael Davidson's friends and colleagues remember him as more than a cardiovascular surgeon. One of the kindest and the best physicians and men that ever walked on this earth. They gathered at Brigham and Women's Hospital to share memories. He had this way of doing everything and and and, and every time you were talking with him you were get, you felt like you were getting his undivided attention. In the operating room Davidson was known as an innovator. He's credited with helping build a new program to take care of complex heart patients. His colleagues also think of him as the lead guitarist in the doctor band Off Label. They practice every week in Shira Daron's basement. He worked really hard and he cared so much about his patients. Those who knew Davidson want to remember who he was, not how he died, murdered by a patient's son. Police say Stephen Passeri shot Davidson twice in the Shapiro Cardiovascular Center before turning the gun on himself. This can't stop the resolve of physicians doing what we do. Davidson's wife is also a doctor, plastic surgeon. They have three children, ages nine, seven, and two, and she's seven months pregnant. A devoted family man and surgeon whose friends cannot believe is gone. Just radiate joy. Um, that's what he's all about to us. And Passeri's brother told the Boston Globe that the doctor had prescribed their mother a medication that Passeri believed led to her death. Now today, Governor Charlie Baker said in light of what happened here, security measures should be reviewed, especially around high-risk fields like cardiology. For Live in Boston, Katie Bryce, WBZ News.